How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome back to The Ballad Singer, the first ever patron supported series on the channel. I put up a poll for, for patrons specifically that was to vote on a series to return to the channel, something that only made it, you know, one or a couple episodes that people wanted to see return. This one, one with a staggering two to one vote. There's not a lot of patrons at the moment, but hopefully this kind of garners more interest in that. I would love to use this to bring back series and in the future vote on new series when there's lots of games and we want to try all of them, but there's a limited amount of time. We can work together, you know, to choose one that uh, people would like to see the most. So it's a cool way to have your voice heard. It's only a dollar to become a patron. Other little bonuses and stuff, kind of working on trying to make that more involved, more worthwhile for everyone. But anyways, this one was the winner. We do plan to utilize that more and more selections in the future. But for now, we do have this. I... Oh, shit. You know what? I don't think I can continue or load because we screwed up and kind of died last time. So I think that might be a bit of a, a write-off. <laughs> I think we might have died, ended, lost that one. Let's try and keep it together a little better this time. We did Anchoran before. Now we'll do Leon. I'm really uncertain. I think it might kind of recover the ground that it had already done with Leon before, because it did tell a bit a bit of both of their stories. And so I think we'll we'll s carry on as was. If it feels like it's really largely repeating the story, then I'll make sure to kind of edit around that and keep things fresh. So it's the prologue. It's probably going to be getting into a lot of the same stuff we already heard last time. Basically, things are peaceful overall in Hesperia. Leon himself is a wizard. Wizards lost control of a lot of what they were doing. There's uh, creatures and experiments kind of running wild. Leon wants to return to the magical world. There's not a lot of magic in his Hesperia these days. He's a master of the natural elements. His choices include expanding his powers. Or he can go explore a tomb looking for a crucial artifact. I don't 100% remember what we did last time, but it said he can expand his powers with a new type of blood magic, which makes me think of, like, necromancy and stuff. That'd be really cool. I might want to lean that way. Right, or he could recruit allies. One of those options is going and befriending a dragon. I don't think I'll go that way. I skipped that one last time as well. Leon has a good soul, but he shall bear no limitations to achieve his goals. So... He kind of sounded like a bit of a villain for part of that. It sounded like he was maybe a little power hungry, but it does frame it that maybe he's maybe he's not such a bad guy. I think we went looking for the book last time as well, but that's still the most intriguing one to me personally. I like the idea of expanding, becoming a more powerful wizard. This guy looks extra shady. It looks like he's eating some shady French toast as well. Let's see, blood wizards, powerful. I want to be a blood wizard. I remember Snellfos from last time. Ridiculous name. Render us invincible. No time to lose, then. We need to act It's now. hilarious how quickly he's all over that. Well, no time to lose. Invincible? What are we waiting here for? I'm currently invincible. I need to add a little bit of end to the start of that before someone ends me. So we shall continue pursuing the book. So now that Anne Kalimo is, like, totally on board. Of restful sleep to we totally went through this before. We had totally done this before. I'm, I'm giving. I'm going to give the abridged version of things here. There, there's a there's a trap. I'm pretty sure we used the vortex and did like a tornado jump over it. Uh, I'm going to do that again, but now I will have learned better and I won't make the, the same mistakes that I made open, previously, which I'm pretty sure I tried to do like, like the water thing, but I don't remember exactly. Black, save for a single glimmer of light that shines on a desk. The only sound Leon can hear is a dripping noise that grows increasingly louder until it resembles that of a babbling brook. The water soaks Leon's feet, soon rising to his ankles. Leon feels his way around the room. I feel like we did the water with water thing before and it seemed stupid. It's dripping, a dripping noise. So this, the solidifying the floor makes it seem like it's coming from below. I don't think it's coming from below. Light up a flame upon the hand to light things up and look for a way to, to stop the water, right? Stopping it would be Searching a good choice. Room, Leon finds an hourglass on the desk, the only object in the otherwise unadorned chamber. Leon tries to pick it up, but the base is fixed to the desk as a sort of lever device. 
Just flip the, the whole desk upside down. The water flowing in from above, and it starts to drain out through several nozzles that sit along the walls. Well Meanwhile, done. Who would have guessed? Pointing him towards a long and winding spiral staircase, it leads up to the top of the tower. It's a pretty cool Leon photo bolts there, wielding in the, the door fire. shuts behind his back. This time, the room lights up completely. The chamber is circular in shape, and at its center lies a bookstand with a significant tome on top. Closing in, Leon reads the title, Blood Magic. This was very easy Everything to find, was it not? Perhaps. Uh, yeah, he's he's a little Leon weary of that as well. Door behind him, and there is no way out. Out of nowhere, a fire elemental appears, ready to jump on the sorcerer. In the previous room, we were prepared to fight water with water, and now all of a sudden, we're not willing to fight fire with fire. Summon a water elemental to fight the guardian. Summon an earth elemental to fight the guardian. I do like that this one looks a little bit like Genie, but I do like how ripplingly strong this guy is. I will name him Dwayne. I assume most people will get the joke. We'll summon Dwayne. And Dwayne the Golem can, can take things out. It seems that wasn't the best idea. Perhaps he should have chosen to use water against fire. But then I thought it the could evaporate or whatever. Is being slowly torn apart by his opponent. Okay, are you telling me that he got eroded over like millennium? Several millenniums? He's helplessly overpowered by the flames and burns in excruciating pain. I never know how things are going to work with water and fire. I feel like water normally wins out, but sometimes fire gets so intense that it just turns things to steam, right? I personally just thought the Earth Golem would be cool, and I had a name for him. Should have went with the Water Genie, I guess. Well, shit, I'm bad at this game. I feel like I need to make wiser decisions and not just silly, instinctual whatevers. Continue the adventure with another character or repeat the fatal choice. Ah, I hate to have to do that again so soon. Searching the room. <laughs> really not going great. Water place. elemental. We'll just the It's the only other choice. It's a 50-50. I was going to win that one. Oh, that's a cool ass book. looking battle. A secret door opens along the side of the tower and he steps in. A row of torches lights his path. Even There's though one he guardian protecting that book possible. A thousand thoughts rush through his mind. He has faced many dangers, including death. He faced one However, danger, and he did he die. Done it. The tunnel takes him outside, from where Leon will resume his journey. I noticed this while editing, and I kind of forgot about it again. Oh, it does do what I thought. Oh, that's so cool. I'm taking a picture of that because that's a dope picture. Uh, that's awesome. If they put all this time into the artwork, you want to, you know, you want to appreciate it now and again. So I do like that they have that. That's that's a very cool photo. I still wish it would have been the rock golem instead, but ah, whatever. We have, we eventually won. Forget about it. Oh, that's it. I just did it. I just have the book now and am stronger. Man, we aced that one. Well, except for the time that we died. <laughs> you know, we took a little mulligan on that one. Got back on course. Recovered quickly. Well, in that case, I think I want to go for the relic. I don't feel prepared for a dragon. I got died. I I got killed going to the, the library, forest, basically. Okay. Served as the home of several outlaws. I got died. Reminiscent of his mentor's stories, he remembers that the tomb of Asperia, the magician who had protected him as a child, should be here. The tomb guards a medallion containing the blood of two wizards who, like him, were able to control all four elements of nature. He must have it. He thirsts Thanks for Thanks to it. the instructions in the Blood Magic book, he will uncover the secrets that will allow him to fulfill his That's cool. Power. Going to the book first Leon is helping us now. The darkest nooks, looking for telltale signs. A shadowy atmosphere surrounds him, as if he were inside a cemetery, or worse, an open-cast crypt. An ill feeling rushes through him such as he has never felt in his entire life. After wandering for several hours, Leon finds two tombs. They are both just simple mounds of rock with no apparent markings. However, opening the wrong one might wake up the dead. I thought it was going to I thought it was going to make the joke of like he might wait, you know, if you choose the one one wrong one, you might wake up dead. But it's that you might wake up the dead. That's a weird uh, assumption to make. That you're like, hmm, if I open the wrong one, I bet you dark, evil blood magic raising skeletons will happen. 
But that's what life is like when you live in a crazy fantasy world such as this. Tunes more closely and finds a detail he hadn't noticed before. The first tomb seems to have some old, small, clotted blood stains, while the other displays normal signs of wear due to the effects of time. I totally appreciate that this game is m more just like a choose your adventure thing and there's not a ton of active participation, but it would be cool if you did level up your character in some way similar to like D&D and then you could roll for perception or something and and so not always would you find the extra little detail distinguishing the two of them, you know? It might it might just be a sometimes thing. Let's take a quick look at the photo there. Ah, not actually seeing the crypts. So one of them has uh, the blood a blood stain and one does not. I'm tempted to think the blood stained one is the evil one, but does that just there's so many ways to interpret that? Does that mean someone who opened it died? Does that mean that uh, opening it is more people go that way? There's more likely to find something, especially when we're like these blood magicians. I, uh, the worn out one. That's the one that everyone goes to, though. So that one is more heavily used. It's another 50-50 situation, so I'm super overthinking it, because, like, what, what could it possibly be? The tomb guards a medallion containing blood of wizards, and it's all about the blood magic and, and blood this and blood that. So I feel like this is less of a warning and more of a marker. It's like, yeah, you want the blood? Go to the blood rock. The blood right? misled Leon. As he moves the first stone, an undead skeleton appears in front of him. He has the beat of one breath to make a decision, and his heart pounds in his chest. Leon, however, is not defeated by fear and invokes his magic. The damn sneaky blood. Well, skeleton, I, I don't know. You could burn bone. Any of this seems like it would beat a skeleton. Skeletons in my mind are always like very weak. There's nothing holding them together. A, a sniff breeze would blow them over, so maybe air is the right choice. But I don't want to give Dwayne another chance. I don't think this is actually going to be an actual golem this time, but let's just use Earth. The skeleton is from Earth. Crush him back down into the Earth. Ooh, this is much more animated than what we've previous, previously been shown, which is very cool. Oh god, he brought back like an, uh, a wraith or something. I hope this is me. The Banshee. Interesting, we've never had like a little aside like that. The ground and dissolves, but a cloud oh shit, is that against me? Bones. It takes a screeching and ghostly shape. Maybe I was going to defeat the skeleton no matter what. Nightmares. A black, torn mantle shrouds the decaying green ghost. It is an irksome foe. So irksome. So irritating, this banshee. The shattering sound of her penetrating cry, but all elements conduct sound, creating a highly conductive speed barrier might turn her attack back upon the banshee herself. Leon can choose to employ a liquid, solid, or fizzy element. A fizzy element, liquid, solid, and gas. I <laughs> think is the normal phases. Fizzy element sounds so silly. It sounds like you're drinking soda pop or something or having a bubble bath. What? <laughs> but he must also decide on the temperature at which to summon it. That's mm. the only way he can survive this. He must act quickly to create a barrier around the specter before she unleashes her deadly like way. One of four of these going to be to useful? The banshee strike, which could crush his eardrums and grasp his heart. The wrong choice will lead him straight to his death. This is far more difficult than like anything else we've ever had to deal with. What the hell? Oh wait, something to soften the ear shattering sound. All elements conduct sound, so creating a highly conductive speed barrier might turn her attack back on herself. I feel like I was not given enough information about the basics of c conductivity and stuff to be able to properly judge what is expected of me here, how I need to make this work. I don't really know what will and won't work. It seems like having a solid would be good to to bounce the sound back, because otherwise the liquid stuff is just going to conduct it, right? Do you want a highly conductive speed barrier? So in that case, maybe the liquid would be good and it's hot, hot to get things roiling around and everything. I don't have a goddamn clue. I'm guessing like crazy here, and I'm probably gonna die because of it. I His don't really know what was expected. Effective. 
The Banshee's cry is powerful enough to break through the magic wall and hurls him to the ground. The wizard covers his ears, but it's useless. The ghostly scream pierces what his skull. What a terrible way to die. His cry joins in with the specters as he feels his brain pulsing together with his temples and head. Leon's skull explodes, blood and brain matter pouring into the ground. He, too, is now a banshee, and he will remember nothing of his past. That was disturbing as hell. God damn, I guess... But what the hell could I possibly do differently here? What What is going to be the supposed action? So not liquid hot. How about solid low? I feel like if it's a low temperature, maybe it'll slow things down a little bit more. I don't know. Let's go with the exact polar opposite of what we just did. How about that? God damn it. The Banshee's cry is powerful enough I to have no idea what was expected of me there. The I have no the fate, but it's going to let me repeat the, the choice again anyways? What do you want from me here? Liquid low? From the bones. This is... It takes a His barrier wasn't very effective. You're kidding me. You're absolutely kidding me. What to break in God's name was I supposed to have done there? What? That's a cool game over screen, but what? I don't... I feel like there wasn't enough logic there. It was like, it should be tough, but not too tough. And, uh, good. What does that have to do with solid liquid temperature? I had nothing to go off of there. What? <laughs> Can't it continue? You just die. What if I load? Yeah, he's just dead. He's dead as dirt. I don't think I can fix that one. He's, uh, he's totally toast. I botched that one hard. Shit. <laughs> uh, this might be a shorter episode than intended. I guess I could boot up, uh, boot up another one and try and go back to Anchoran instead of through Leon or try, try and go with, like, the Dragon Path or something. That sucked. That felt like a, a crappy way to go. I felt like I, I couldn't have done a whole lot to, to make that one last if you guys understand the logic of that puzzle and why I should have chosen one or the other please lay it out for me because I felt lost as hell there shit well there's guaranteed gonna be more of this series I don't really know how long the patron support will extend I don't know if that guarantees seven episodes 10 20 it's uh, remains to be seen we'll see how things chug along for now but I want to guarantee I think seven is a good number of like a minimum that gives like many hours of content, a lot of coverage of the game overall. I think that's a good baseline and we can extend from there if necessary. Thank you guys all so much for watching. There'll be links to the Patreon and everything down below if you guys are curious about future polls, anything like that. It'd be much appreciated. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.